Tonight, Governor Hochul visited Cornell after graphic anti-Semitic threats were posted online over the weekend. The governor said state police are stepping up security at college campuses across the state. As CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports, today Jewish students at Columbia University spoke out saying that they feel unsafe. Sunday at Cornell University, the FBI was called to investigate anti-Semitic messages posted online as graphic threats of murder, sexual violence, and comparison to animals. At one point, students and staff were asked to avoid the school's center for Jewish living out of an abundance of caution. Monday at Columbia University, senior Noah Fay joined other Jewish students in demanding the university do more about anti-Semitism there, too. We have students on our campus calling out by name explicitly that they want certain students on this campus to die slowly. Someone had to make a group chat to, ex to escort Jewish students around campus. The NYPD confirms a swastika was found on a bathroom wall Friday. Recently, Eli Schmidman says someone shouted an expletive at him as he walked into a campus building. He said, F the Jews. I've seen them parrot foul anti-Semitic tropes. I've seen them label visibly Muslim students as terrorists. Monday after meeting with students at Cornell, Governor Hochul said she would not tolerate any kind of hatred that makes people feel vulnerable. State police have ramped up security on college campuses since October 7th, and we're going to continue to do so. Our intelligence center has been beefing up his monitoring of um, social media. Students at Columbia tell me while they appreciate Governor Hochul's response, it is not enough. There's many, many more steps that need to be taken that are not just or even physical police presence. This is a cultural problem. Students say they've asked the university to clarify and enforce policies for identity-based bigotry, invest more resources to support victims, and publicly condemn Hamas. A Columbia University spokesperson said in part, anti-Semitism or any other form of hate are antithetical to Columbia's values. It will not be tolerated. We are using every available tool to keep our community safe. In Morningside Heights, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And the president today they announcing new action to combat anti-Semitism incidents on campuses. The White House, the Department of Justice, and also Homeland Security now working with campus law enforcement and state and local officials to address the threats and share information about available resources.